I have my daily driver here with the Lineage OS custom ROM installed on it. And today I'll be showing you how to enable a floating window mode that can be used for most of your apps and games. I do want to point out that this is not a feature offered by Lineage OS. And instead, it's actually something that is built into AOSP. That means that any custom ROMs based on Lineage OS or AOSP in general will also be able to use a feature like this. And I should also say that some apps could get a little buggy with this feature enabled while the app is in floating window mode. So while this may work great with some applications, it may not work so well with others. To begin, we first need to enable developer mode. We can do this with Lineage OS by finding the build number entry in the about phone section and then tapping it seven to 10 times until it tells you that you are now a developer. With that done, we can go back and then dive into the system area of the settings application. And at the bottom here, you should see the newly revealed developer options menu. So tap on developer options, and then we're gonna scroll through most of this page until you find the apps section. Once you see that heading, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit more and you should see two toggles here that we're going to be enabling. The first toggle is for a feature labeled force activities to be resizable. And then the second toggle that we're gonna be enabling is the feature for freeform windows. Once we enable that second feature, we're gonna get prompted to reboot. So we're gonna tap on the reboot now option. Once your Lineage OS smartphone or tablet has rebooted, we can test this feature by opening up an application that you would like to have in a floating window. With this opened, we can now minimize it and go into the Recents menu. From here, we're going to tap on the icon for the application above the window here. And since we have enabled that freeform toggle, we're gonna to get a freeform option right here. We can move this window around by dragging it from the top frame up here. And since we enabled the option to resize the window, we can actually resize this floating window by dragging from the bottom right corner. You can set up multiple floating windows by first minimizing what we have here, opening up the second application that you would like to see in a free form, then going back to that recents page and enabling freeform mode for that specific app. Now, when we go back and open the original app that we had, you can see it is still in freeform mode. So we can have two different windows in freeform as floating windows on Lineage OS. So while this isn't exactly the same as the floating window feature that you'll see in Samsung's One UI and Xiaomi's MIUI, it is fairly close. And with it being built into AOSP, that means we can use it on the Lineage OS ROM, other custom ROMs based on Lineage OS or based on AOSP, Google's Pixel UI, and many other devices. I hope this has helped anyone who has wanted to use floating windows for their apps on Android. 
The idea for today's video was based on a comment I received this week from someone who was curious if such a feature was possible. So if you have any questions about Android, or would just like to see how a feature could be implemented on your device, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and ask.